it's a nice little thing to, to have and uh it's a nice little change in game mode I guess. Yeah, they even have moving guys. But keep in mind, uh in the said uh what is it? It's all off. Like um you know the the hit points thing is off. I think it's fairly accurate. It's accurate enough. The only time I seen maybe a difference was maybe in about seven points, maybe. But I really haven't tested it out a whole lot. You get a ton of headshots in this too. It's kind of re that's just where the guy's head is shaped too. I think he has a bigger hit box for his head. But okay. Also, I have last episode I was saying crap about how I couldn't hear things. Well, I think my headset. The speakers blew out in it, like the central speakers. Anyway, um, let me turn this down. This is kind of loud. Anyway, I went out and I bought that uh, Logitech gaming headset or whatever it's called. I don't even know. I don't even have that box anymore. But um, the one, it, it wraps around your head. It's the one EG sells on Rounders Poker that you could bid on. It cost me $30. Uh, yeah, it wraps around the back of your head. And I took it home. It does have surround sound. That's one good thing. It's not USB. It doesn't have a whole lot of options you can configure. Keep in mind, I'm not the most technical person here. But, I mean, I've used the headsets. But I've only used USB anyway. But, um, yeah, I, I got on TeamSpeak with it. And I turned all my volume maximum. And I was having a really hard time hearing my friends. So, um, I wouldn't suggest it if you, you guys only use TeamSpeak. And, uh, let me think if they were able to hear me. Yeah, they were able to hear me clear on TeamSpeak. They could hear me just fine. But I wasn't able to hear them. So then we went to Ventrilo. And I guess the one good thing about Ventrilo is you have more options. The good thing about TeamSpeak is it's simple. And if everybody has just gets it to work right away, it's really good. Ventrilo, you have a little more options and you can configure a little better. So I, we got on there and I got it where I could hear well, but I it wasn't it would let me talk like it would let me talk like I'd go out out of my setup and then I would talk and then if somebody else talked, then I wasn't able to talk anymore. So it. It was really crappy, so I I got really fed up with that headset, and I would not suggest buying that. I got the uh, Logitech Premium 350 at I that's the one I used to have. I got it again. It was at Walmart for forty dollars, so it was ten dollars more. Uh, the other one, it's not too comfortable. This 350 it goes over the top of your head. It's really comfortable. It just kind of rests on your head. The other one, it, it clamps down on your like around your ears. I didn't really like it, but of course you'll get used to it. Um, I would I'd I would highly suggest getting this uh, 350 headset. I mean, it's it's really nice to work with. It's it's a really good quality thing. If you could, it's only ten dollars more. If if you're just looking for a headset that'll give you surround sound, I guess uh, go f and you're really really tight on money or something. I guess you can go for the go for that. Um, the gamers headset or whatever it's called, <laughs> but yeah, I I I really hate it, and Best Buy won't let me return it. They'll let me exchange it for the same one, but what's the point in that? So, whatever. I just spent thirty bucks, but that'll probably save you guys from buying it. So, you know, I spent thirty, saves probably ninety, and hopefully more of other people. So, no big deal. Just just giving some info out there. Okay, now let me get this last kill. I got some. I've got a lot of questions for, or well, okay. I got these are the questions I had. Um, can you give tips on missile, desert, and then I had Kinabalu, plasma, and then train. Now I'm kind of short on time today, so I'm probably just gonna do missile and desert, and I will save the others for the next episode. And um, yeah, that, I'll just go get to that right now. All right, I think I have some desert tips in the first episode, but I'll do a little more detail here. Uh, one big key to this map on both sides is controlling this balcony up here. You have a great overview of everything, and you know, so you can see a lot, making it really good. Oh, I bursted on that guy before. 
I'm kind of bursting just to distract him. I can hold him back until Blue Gamers gets over there. Bloody Gamers. Okay, he died anyway. But yeah, see that? I mean, two guys there. If nobody goes that way, I could just turn over here and look over there. Uh, blue, of course, just like any blue team, cover the top bomb or the lower bomb. I guess I could give you some tips on where to hide. Uh, some good spots. A lot of people like going up here. It can be alright. It's uh, If you're going to get rushed by a ton of guys from that little spot I'm looking at, it's usually not the best best place to be because you know they just come around here and they can kill you no problem you have no cover good spot might be back here uh, or behind this truck and you know over here or over there where I'm shooting ah dang it I was reloading and then those guys popped up okay and then I'll show you the bottom bomb But yeah, be, be sure and cover those flanks too when you're up there. A lot of people just look straight ahead and they don't think to look sideways like the like those two guys just came from. Um, usually when people defend, I mean, I can usually run in there and there might be maybe one guy watching it. And once you take him out, everybody else, uh, they're not paying attention and they all just fall and lose. So, um, yeah. Uh Let's see red really this map you can charge on both sides blue or red middle left or right and you have a good chance of uh you know you have decent cover for for everything uh yeah let me go to the bottom bomb um so it's a it's pretty good it's pretty uh fast paced map and like here's a good spot to hide back here i uh, hear someone over here These guys go. Okay. Oh, great. Two guys left. I don't know why, but they did. Um. Yeah. Uh. uh some things to do on red is camp in that basement area. You know, and watch and wait for people to run to you because you have better cover in there. I if there's usually someone in there. I, I try. I I do my best. I I don't rush in usually. It's like one on one, um, in my in that one one on one video with me and Deadpool or Deadpool and I, <laughs> but uh, like he, I knew he was in there, but I did not run in because I knew he had the advantage on me, so I did not. I chose not to run in. I just waited for him to come out. Um, 